I'm John Hayes, uh, founder and managing director of Hayes Travel. Well, I did a f had a first degree in mathematics from Oxford and then uh, an MBA from Manchester and then a really short spell in the city as a merchant banker. And after that, I came back to the northeast for personal reasons and uh, started Hayes Travel. I wanted to work for myself and uh, I didn't have any money at the time and uh, I thought, what can I do that'll be a growth industry, what will be fun, and uh, I had a long list of possibilities and I plumped on travel even though I knew nothing about it. And I don't regret it. I personally didn't have any money, I'd been a student for a lot of years and I, had, I didn't have my own money, but uh, my parents helped me a little bit, well they helped me quite a lot because they put up a bond for APTA for me, so they didn't give me any money but they guaranteed, um, so they, they guaranteed me and um, my parents, had, my mother had a really, had a children's wear shop in Seaham in County Durham, which is a small little town where I live, and, um, and uh, they well, they gave him some space free at the back of the shop and my dad was a joiner at the pit and uh, he put a trellis up between the children's wear clothes and, and the, the agency and he, he built counters and um, brochure racks and things. They weren't very smart at all, but <laughs> he wasn't a cabinet maker, he was a, uh, a colliery joiner. You know, he, if, if he could use a six inch nail rather than mortise and tenon joints, that was pretty good for him. So, uh, so no, very, very, very humble beginnings. You can't get much more basic than that. So we've never specialised in anything. I just really just started off in the small town and uh, there wasn't another agent there so that was my plan to, you know, to, to be the only agent. But by the time I got my agency open someone else had beaten me to it by about a month. So, <laughs> so the first few first few months and years were pretty, were pretty tough. It was a pretty hard start. Well, we started off as a retail travel agent in the northeast of England. We, we steadily added one, two, three, four branches, and that's our history as being a, re a traditional high street travel agent. We've currently got 43 branches, mainly in the northeast of England. But we, we've evolved into having call centres. We've got a, a couple of hundred home workers around the, around the country. And we run um, an organisation called the Independence Group, where uh, a couple of hundred independent travel agents operate under licence to us. And we do the bonding and the back office functions and they get our, our commercial deals. So. Um, um, We've diversified a lot over the, over the years from where we started while still retaining our, our agencies. In, a, in addition to that, we've recently started our own, uh, we do foreign exchange, not just for ourselves, but for other uh, travel agents. Uh, about four years ago, we started a bed bank to uh, contract our own hotels. And, uh, and uh, very, very recently, we've gone in to be a tour operator. So we started our own long haul tour operation fairly recently. So quite a diverse business now. Our history and our expertise is in being a retail agent for, for, for principals. And being honest, I think that's where I'd have liked to have, uh, to have stayed, stayed. But the, um, uh, the market's changing, we need differentiated product and so uh, we've made the move into, into being a tour operator. We had all the, we've got all the raw materials there to begin with, we, we've got net fares with lots of airlines so I think we, we can buy our airfares quite uh, competitively. Uh, we've got our own bed bank to do the hotels, we've got our own transfer company to do the transfer. So, so the tour operation was a kind of logical step really just to put those raw materials together to create our own uh, tour operation. But, um, but yes, it, 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 it's a different uh, it's a different uh, set of risks and a different set of challenges to being a, 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 a traditional uh, retailer and to become a principal. Well, we're starting off in um, the long haul market. We see that's an, that's an area where we can um, get differentiated product and where we can uh, uh, compete uh, with 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 the big players and big players in the market. It's a higher average transaction value, uh, and um, and we, we think there are reasonable margins there. We've got no plans to compete in the um, in the uh, in the short haul market where 
we, we don't have product differentiation and, and uh, we don't see uh, um, the margins there for us in, 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 in that sector. So in that sector we'll continue to be a retail agent and, and we'll continue to be a retail agent in the, in, um, in the long haul and cruise sectors as well. It's, um, it, it's, a, it's an extra string to our bow and something uh, different as an offering to give to our clients to have client retention. Customers want to be treated as, as, as individuals and booking in, 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 in different ways and embracing uh, mobile technology and, and clients sort of wanting information, quality information, uh, either through a website or TripAdvisor or, or those kind of interactions uh, and giving feedback and getting feedback from clients, engaging with clients will be an ongoing trend. That having been said, that's how we've behaved in the 32 year, years since we started in, in, in business. When I first started, it was our first objective that once you get a customer, we want them to come back next year and the, and the year after. And so engaging with customers to encourage repeat purchase has always been what we um, have aspired to do. But clearly, that still exists, but there's so many more ways and it's so much easier to engage with people via uh, social media, etc., and mobile technology to, to, to maintain that engagement with us. That's the challenge uh, because there's so many sophisticated uh, um, other companies out there. There's so many opportunities uh, for clients. It's so easy for them to, uh, to uh, compare and contrast these days that uh, clearly, clearly, it's interesting, so there's lots of challenges, but then there always has been. There are the financial challenges, which I'm sure most people would say it's a, it's a thin margin business and uh, financial institutions are uh, very risk averse at the moment and they see high volumes, low margin uh, as a risky arena for, for, for the uh, financial providers to be, to be playing in. I think that trend will, will continue. But there are other, other, other trends in terms of uh, it's, still a people, it's still a people business and, uh, and what will determine the success of the travel sector will be the quality of people and the quality of management that we have within the, within the sector. So I see attracting and retaining talent and quality people uh, throughout the sector as being a really big challenge for us going forward. Well, I've been very lucky. I've been, uh, I've, I've been recognised at a personal level on many occasions, of which I'm very, very grateful. I'm in, inducted into the Travel Industry Hall of Fame and won a Lifetime Achievement Awards, which made me really proud and humbled to be recognised by my peers. But the things that give me it's given me the most satisfaction. It have been things which have been about people, about being, about our team. And uh, uh, when we were a Sunday Times best company to work for, and the other, the other awards like that that, uh, that, that, that that we won, I kind of was really moved. I remember kind of crying when I kind of uh, with uh, when we were recognised in that in that arena where our people are recognised. So they're the things that give me the most satisfaction and. Even even this week, uh, I, I've been in London for a few, for a few days, but I got a text uh, at about half ten at night from my, my training manager to say that we'd won a, a national training award uh, just 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 this week, and we beat. It wasn't a travel training award. I think we. I think we beat Nissan actually, which I was quite pleased about. <laughs> you know, I think they were highly commended. So, so I think uh, so. Those awards, which are, which recognise the team and the team spirit that we get, they're the ones that give me really you know, make me feel emotional and, and give me real pleasure. I'll, I think I'll, I'll, I I would pick as a as a as a challenge is continuing to attract and train and develop the right caliber um, people in, 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 into the industry. I think uh, bringing new entrepreneurs, new, new people, a lot younger than me, uh, <laughs> into, the, into the industry to start their businesses and to uh, create jobs uh, and, and to provide unique product for, 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 for customers. 
I, I think is, a, is, is the big challenge and we need that new lifeblood uh, all of the time to, for the industry to be continuously regenerating itself with, with fresh talent and fresh ideas. It's a great industry. Uh, you can have so much fun and it, it, it's, it's about uh, giving pleasure to other people and by doing that you can gain a lot of job satisfaction and pleasure. Um, pleasure, pleasure yourself. Clearly you need to work hard and, uh, and as, as in any, any other walk, walk of life. But it's, it's fun and uh, enjoy it.